I want to talk to you about something that I've used for over 30 years now, and it's using the power of three for learning. I use this to read books, and I've read over 2,000 books, and I have a lot of books that I've done this particular technique on that I go back to and review this particular process that I'm going to share with you today. In this process, the first step is just reading for the book for entertainment and enjoyment. You can use this for fiction or nonfiction books in this particular step. And there's a lot of ways to read books today, right? I can read the paperback, I can read the hardback, I can read it on a Kindle type device, I can read it on my phone, I can listen to it on an app like Audible. So there's many ways to get content and to absorb reading material today. So like I said, in this first step, you're just reading through for entertainment or listening to the book. In the second step, what you do is go through and take notes. So if you're using a book, a hard book, you're gonna go through underline or highlight areas that you find interesting or areas that you wanna learn more or retain that particular learning. In fact, you might even wanna make notes in the margin. If you're listening to the book, you'd have to make handwritten notes as you go. And if you're using a pad device, they have highlighting features that you can just go through and highlight. In fact, it's kind of cool because those highlights you can use later in the third step. So after you've gone through and you've highlighted and you've underlined the areas that you want to learn or key areas in the, that you find interesting in the book, the next step is to take those highlights and those underlines and put them into notes and organize them into notes and put them into a journal. Some people actually like to use a recorded device to record their notes. For example, I've used Evernote, I've used a couple other apps such as Good notes and notability to do this as well. But what I found personally is I remember a lot more if I take handwritten notes. So I've gone back and forth and I found that the handwritten notes are best for me. It might be different for you and you just have to determine what works best for you. So just to give a little bit of a summary there, first thing is to is read or listen to the book. The second one is to go through and you wanna highlight and underline any areas. Highlight if you're using a pad device and take notes if you're listening to the book. The other thing that you wanna do in the third phase is go back and take notes and put those notes either audible or in written form. What I've been able to do is go back over the years and really quickly go through the key learnings of things that I found useful in different books. So I have books that I've outlined for the going back, like I said, 30 years. I don't have every single book that I've done this way, but I have a lot of books that I've done this way, ones that I really found important that I've gone through and, and done this, where I've learned a lot from the book, where the book's very, can has key learnings. I go back and do this and put the notes and review those notes, a lot of them on an annual basis just to get those key learnings fresh back in my head. Another thing, back in college, I took a speed learning class, a speed reading class, speed learning. Um, I took a speed reading class, and in the speed reading class, it enabled me to go through books really quickly. I found my retention is not super great, but if I go through the book and speed read ahead of time, the, before the first time I read it, I do tend to retain a lot more information. The other thing that I do when I'm done with the book is a lot of times I'll speed read that way too. Now you can't do this with a pad device, but with Audible, you can go one and a half times, one and a quarter times, two times speed, so you can listen to the book faster if you choose to do it that way.